What if I told you the QR code, something you scan every day without thinking about it, was the result of one genius man. In the 1990s, Japan's automotive industry was thriving, but factories were having a small issue. See, traditional barcodes just could not keep up and they almost stored no data and they could only be scanned from one angle. And this whole ordeal what made production lines painfully inefficient. A young Japanese engineer named Masahiro Hara at Denzo Wave came up with a bold idea. His idea was what if a barcode could store thousands of characters and be scanned instantly from any angle. Pretty ambitious idea. But turning that vision into reality was not as easy as it sounded. After months of trial and error with no clear path forward, Hara and his team were about to give up. Then one day, inspiration struck while Hara was playing the game Go and it immediately hit him. The patterns on the board were a perfect visual analogy for this idea. So Hara's team cracked the code literally from the game Go and they created a two-dimensional square with three position markers at its corners, allowing for lightning fast scanning. Therefore, the QR code was born in 1994. But here's where the story gets really interesting and what I personally think that was truly genius. So see Denzel Wave could have patented it but they decided not to patent it. Instead Denzel Wave worked with international standard organizations to ensure a global adoption making it an open standard and that decision paid off in ways they hadn't even imagined. See the QR code exploded across industry from tracking car parts to transforming marketing, healthcare, logistics, even dining at restaurants nowadays they give you the QR code which is annoying. I prefer the physical menu please but there's more denzo wave kept the core qr code free they found ways to monetize it widespread adoption through different ways see you gotta think outside the box as the market for qr code technology was growing so did the need for hardware and software you know you need those scanners to scan the qr code denzo wave was selling that to manufacturers to retail and denzo wave didn't just stop at basic codes they were creating advanced qr code applications for factories and manufacturing companies. See, the lesson here was not patenting it and thinking outside the box. They were able to create a whole business out of it. See, the more industries adopted QR codes, the more products and services were needed, driving even more demand for the QR code. So the next time you scan a QR code, remember this tiny square changed the world. It reshaped entire industries, made global connections easier, and created a market worth billions. By the way, before you go, check out this QR code made by China with drones. Isn't that insane? So yeah, if you like stories like this, follow for more. I will keep you up to date on emerging tech, but also technology that was in the past because I love reading about the history and I love watching the future unfold. Thank you for watching. My name is Manav. I'll see you in the next video.